at some point you feel like you've got a time problem, not enough time in your day, maybe just pause to consider if it's not actually a time problem, it's simply a problem in the way that you're prioritizing things. Like the things that make you happy, like walking your dog. Good morning. Great morning here in Sydney. Absolutely spectacular. Sunrise coming up right there. You can't really see it, but just a huge splash of colour in the sky. If you're down on the beach right now, you've seen that big happy fella dragging himself out of the ocean into the sky. But as they say, red sky in morning, sailors warning. It's been quite a humid summer here in Sydney. We've had quite a lot of thunderstorms, so maybe we'll get one of those this afternoon. Don't know about you, but I love thunderstorms. It's one of those things that kind of takes you back to some other place, some other time. And for me, I used to sleep in a bedroom that had a metal roof. So the rain on the roof was always a, a wonderful memory for me. Big thunderstorms, lightning. It's all nice when you're tucked up in bed, isn't it? <laughs> we're, um, we're just coming up to the high point on the, on the walk this morning and let's see if we can't climb up and get a little bit more of a, a view of that beautiful sunrise there. But, oh geez, the pipeline is super slippery this morning. Wow, that's a bit obscured. Beautiful burning sunrise over the pipeline. Isn't that spectacular? You can see it's a little bit wet there on the pipeline today. I'm gonna slip on that and I'll fall on my bum. <laughs> Morning, Pixie. Morning, Pixie. Oh, the dog is always happy. I'm also a little bit tired from chasing rabbits this morning. Sunrise. Spectacular. It's one of those perfect mornings, eh? You know, one where you've got just beautiful light on the clouds coming up. Temperature is perfect. T-shirt and shorts, not cold, not hot. It's just sensational. This is what it's all about, the early morning walk. I'm glad you could join me for it. Isn't it funny how just like the smallest things in nature are the most spectacular sometimes? Absolutely magical colour down there. And then over here, just the way that that light is hitting off the top of the clouds is, it's beautiful. And then the colours of the graffiti. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember, it's all for the crew. <laughs> it must have been like vlog episode number three or something. Oh, a lot of water under the bridge since then. I've been thinking about time quite a lot lately. Maybe um, not for the exact reason that we usually think and talk about it. I was on my iPhone the other day and uh, I got a notification that popped up that said my screen time report for the last week. And I thought oh yeah here we go. So I opened it and had a look and yeah I spent a lot of time on my phone and what's kind of crazy is that I don't really feel like I'm on my phone as much as I really am and yet here's my phone telling me that I'm on it for like two or two and a half hours a day sometimes. Yeah, the phone should probably know, shouldn't it? <laughs> now sure, some of that is, is like legit, right? You know, I'm at work, making phone calls, looking things up, emails and everything. But I guarantee you in there, there's a whole lot of rubbish too, isn't there? This just kind of got me thinking about how much in our lives isn't about us not having time, but it's actually a prioritization problem. Let's face it, a good friend of mine was saying that her back was stuffed and that she just didn't have a chance to, to get to the chiropractor, osteopath, physio, whatever you like, in order to get herself ironed out. 
And as we talked more, I kind of realized that, you know, she had quite a lot of time there. There were times that she was catching up with friends or, you know, going shopping for, I don't know, like a new dress or something like that. I'm not saying that those things aren't important. Like, yeah, of course they're important. But are they more important than like your well-being and your comfort day in, day out, every day by getting your back sort of sorted? I'd say not. So, sort of classic example of it, not being a time problem, prioritization problem. You know, when you actually, actually pause and reflect on that, you know, I don't, I don't know if, if we've really got a time problem at all, at least most of us. Yeah, like I'm super busy, that's for sure. But I'm sure even in my days, I could definitely find a lot more time to do the things that I have to do if I just prioritise the most important things, like systematically, ritualistically, every single freaking time. But I don't. Why? Well, I reckon some of it's just about being human. You know, we're always looking for shortcuts as humans. The easiest things or the instant gratification. That's normal. Pixie, come. Here comes the dog. Like patting your dog. Heel puppy. And then some of it's just something that we haven't been trained for. We haven't actually practiced getting our priorities right. So, let's look at that. You can prioritise better, firstly, by knowing what your top priority is, and that's all about goal setting. We talked a lot about goal setting in, in another episode. Once you set good goals, it's just making sure you're blocking out your calendar and really sticking to it so you've got time set aside to get those most important things done. We actually do that quite, quite well in our office, I think, compared to most businesses. I don't do it too badly. But even still, I think the last thing is just constantly, constantly coming back to what your priorities are. Whether they're your priorities in work, at work, your priorities in life, and just cutting away all the other shit that's like not that priority. It sounds so easy in theory. <laughs> oh boy. Espresso done. Good way to get the day started. I guess that's the last thing is, if you think you've got a time problem at some point, maybe just take a pause and see if it's not actually a prioritization problem instead. And if it is, it's pretty simple. Just make sure that you're always prioritizing the most important stuff every day. Like the stuff that makes you happy. Whatever you're getting up to today, I hope you're having a good one. And I hope it's the most important shit that you're getting done. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.